Hey everyone, it is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today we are talking about a new set of Rebirth Deluxe Editions I will be starting. Uh, well, has started, will hopefully continue. Um, we have got finally the Green Arrow Rebirth Deluxe Edition. This is a book that was solicited and cancelled a few times. Um, written by Benjamin Piercy, uh, Percy. Um, one thing I just really want to quickly mention here, guys. They changed the spine, made it so far. You know, we had about a dozen books come out, and then they changed the spine on us. Damn it. Um, written by Benjamin Percy. Um, art by Otto Schmidt and, I believe, Juan, Juan Ferreira. Um, so, what we collect here is uh, the Rebirth issue, and then issues 1 through 11. And a few bonus content. Let me get the dust jacket off, and we'll take a deeper dive. So, under the dust jacket, we got a very, very cool wraparound print um, but let's get into the book itself here so I haven't read this entire volume I did read most of it as it was coming out so I can sort of speak to what we've got in this book here um, you know the rebirth issue introduces basically the plot for most of this book um, there's a group called the underground men that has been kidnapping people homeless people um, doing things with them. We're introduced to Dinah, well, we're not introduced to Dinah Lance, but she's sort of introduced to Oliver Queen here, obviously as Black Canary. Um, and throughout the book, they work together, they, you know, you see their relationship evolve. We've got um, Otto Schmidt's artwork. Let me just get this light moved a little so we can get rid of the glare. Um, I enjoy his artwork, it's very, uh, it's very vibrant, at least the coloring helps with that too, it's very sharp. Um, I personally enjoy it. Juan Ferrer is pretty solid too. Um, we do see Emiko and and, um, and Shadow appear here in this book. And for those of you that don't know, Emiko is the daughter of um, Oliver and Shadow. So kind of a spoiler there, but they do return and you sort of see... Um, uh, I mean, I don't want to give too much away. You do see them throughout the story as well. And, you, and Emiko is a, a recurring character in this series. Um, obviously, she is the daughter of Oliver Queen. So here we have Juan Ferreira's artwork. And I believe it's his art that is the wraparound. Yep. Um, it's great. It's great. He does everything. Inks, colors, pencils. Um, and again, I don't want to give too, away too much of the plot since, you know, this is a Rebirth series. Um, it's very good. It's, it deals with the, you know, secret society and... Obviously, it is uh, Green Arrow. He is a social justice warrior. He says so himself. That's just not me being mean. And, um, yeah, it's great to see him and Black Canary back together again. You know, that was, was missing from the New 52. And, um, overall, uh, you know, I enjoy this series. It's, uh, it's fairly wordy, so you're getting a solid bang for your buck. Let's take a look at the spine here. As with all uh, Rebirth books, it's, since it's not a massive book, it does stay together very well. Um, I'll stay open very well, rather. So let's jump to the back here. Looks like you do actually get a good amount of bonus content. A bunch of covers. See some Neil Adams ones here that are kind of cringeworthy. <laughs> um, they're good, not great. Let's see what else we got here. Some character sketches. A uh, little design work. Cool stuff. Some more cover sketches here. Pretty great. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, cool. But, um, yeah. It's a uh, great book. Please support it, guys. Hopefully we'll see an Aquaman soon. Um, not sure what other series. I'm, none are really coming to mind. A Deathstroke one would be really good because that's a great series. But, um... Let me know if you guys pick this up. Oh, real quick, we'll just take a look at the uh, pricing here. 35 US, 46 Canadian for 12 issues. Um, let me know if you guys pick this up, what you thought. Um, I'm very excited. Hopefully we see a book too. Hopefully this thing doesn't just stop getting deluxes. Um, so go support this book, guys. It's really good for a Green Arrow run. I personally am enjoying it very much. Um, ben Piercy's doing, a, Piercy's doing a great, great job. Um, as always, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and until next time, this is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. You stay classy, Internet.